Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out. And we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the business mega pack inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. This video was requested by you guys and there's been so many people okay inside my YouTube comments saying that the download links does not work. Some people say that the download doesn't actually download the file. And some say that the mod doesn't work. And some say that the mod crashes their game. Now, unfortunately, I haven't downloaded the files yet. So I want to show you guys proof that the download does work. So let's get straight into it. So all you got to do is go inside my description below and download all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Now once you have completed that process, then you'll need to download this mod. But unfortunately, this mod is outdated. So you will need to download the latest version. To download the latest version, go to the Discord server inside my description below. You will see a Discord link inside my description saying HKH191 Discord support server. Then when you go to the Discord server, you'll see Business Redesign. Go to this channel, okay? And now all you gotta do is download this link and continue to download. And then there you go. Then download to your desktop. Now once you have done that, then you'll need to download Enable All Interiors, okay? Download this. And now download it to my desktop. Now lastly is Lemon UI. You'll need to download Lemon UI. So when you download Lemon UI, uh, you'll need to go and scroll down. Make sure that you do download version 1.5.2. There you go. Wait for a few seconds and then download it to my desktop. Now once you have finished downloading all of your requirements and even your mods, then all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open the file location. Now, really important, okay, go to your scriptcogv.net.ini file, double click and make sure that you do change your reload key to insert, okay, and save your file. Next, if you do not have one, then go and right click and create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure that it's all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder, then now we can start installing our mods. Then go open up your lemon UI extract folder. Now, the first thing that you must do is open up your SHVDN2 folder, select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Go back to your main folder, then open up your SHVDN3 folder, select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your Enable All Interiors Extract folder. Go to this folder, go to your scripts folder. Now simply select all the files in folder 
except for the text files and drag it inside your scripts folder then it exits out of your extract folder now lastly open up your business mega pack extract folder then go into this folder then go to your skits folder now all you've got to do is select all the files and folders all of it except for the text file which is you got to find it uh, somewhere around here so just only uncheck the text file and then I'll drag it to your skits folder now this process will take a few seconds and now go to replace and then now exit out of your extract folder now lastly okay go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and I will see you guys in the game and now we are in the game so as you can see my game is frozen as soon as I go in the game so don't worry okay just wait for a few seconds now there you go so to enable the interiors first, go and open up your phone, go to your contacts, and as you can see, we got enable all interiors and business helper. So go to your enable all interiors. Now wait for a few seconds. Then go to change and interior. Now you can choose whatever business that you want to change, okay? But for this one, okay, I'm going to choose is Ah, executive and Maze Bank West note. Maze Bank Talent. Let's try that on. So if you're gonna choose executive, okay, uh let's just say the tower, make sure that you do changes to true, okay, and if you want the vehicle warehouse and the large one, then make sure that you change these two to true. Now inside here you can change the customization for your CEO garage and warehouse and mod shop and etc. So you can do whatever inside the AK, but I'm going to leave everything as default. Once you have finished with that, then go right down to the bottom to Musk Options. This is really important. And now really important, change your load MP maps to true and enable blips to true. This next step is optional, I always do this, but change your random color blips to true. Remember, that's optional. Now back out to one and go to refresh interior, wait for a few seconds, then now exit out of your menu. Next, go to your keyboard and now press insert. Now your game will freeze for only a few seconds, don't worry. And then there you go, see, my game is now back. There's no errors whatsoever. Now next, open up your phone. Now go to your contacts again, then go to business helper. Wait for a few seconds. Then go to purchase a business. Now the business that I am purchasing is the executive business so go to executive business or gun running or whatever business you choose now the business that i'm buying is the maze bank tower then there you go now i have purchased that business then exit out of your menu now the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to travel to the maze bank tower and now we are here at the tower the maze bank tower so let's go over here okay now come to this um, circle okay go over it and now press e to enter the office and then there you go you can come over here uh you can go over here and press e to go to the garage or roof and now uh, you can come over here and turn on the radio and over here you can press Q to sit on the seat and then uh, after that press E and then now uh, you can change the organization options you can change the design to whatever design you want let's say this one over here 
and then now there you go we change the uh, design press E again now in the menu you can do whatever you want okay but I'm not going to do the missions because it will make the video really long okay so you can change the organization okay you can change the name of the uh, of the board and you can change the props you can change the interior but I'm going to leave everything as is okay now once you have finished with that then now you can exit okay go back and now press Q to exit press Q to jump out of your seat so yeah it does work okay 100% press E to exit the office now there you go so this mod does work 100% and I hope you guys do enjoy it and we're back again so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod but like always okay if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that just to let you guys know okay if you do need help with this mod though then I will leave the developers uh, discord server link inside my description below okay so with that said if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful then smash the like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and i will see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out